Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am back with my project that I want to share with you. And I hope you guys will enjoy this because this is a prayer notebook project. And um, anyways, let me just tell you how this happened. So I've always written prayers and gratitude lists and things like that. And I decided that I want to be more purposeful. I've had prayer journals before and I wanted this to be more broken down. And um, and I've done this before and I love it. And I just decided I was setting up all my bag. I have a big bag by my chair, like a reusable bag. And I think it's from like Joann's or something, something humongous. And so I set up these little plastic shoe boxes with colored lids that would identify what each project is. And these are all my Christmas, my Christmas homemade projects. So I've got one for embroidery. I've got one for, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, crocheting. I've got one for paper projects. I've got one, you know, just on and on and on. And then I also set up my Bible journaling in one of the little shoe boxes. So it literally holds about four little shoe boxes. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's really kind of a fun way to set up your projects. And then I also put in it, like, one of those little cases, you know, like this and this. And it has all the different um, skeins, pre, you know, they're wound on the bobbins and they're ready to go. The embroidery floss and needles and my little needle tin and, of course, scissors and whatnot. And um, I just thought, you know, I was, I was doing all that. And I looked over on the little shelf by my chair and I saw this little notebook, and I have two of these. I bought them off of, I think it was Chic Sparrow, and um, I think they're at Odyssey, but I can't remember. It's been so long. Um, and I bought them about the time my dad passed away, so it's been 2017. Tells you how long they've been on the shelf. But I have this in a little bag to keep it fresh, and I just grabbed it, and I thought, you know, I've been really wanting to up my game. In my prayer journaling and this would fit perfectly in my purse and I thought this is what I want I want something I want to hopefully put it in here it's just a little traveler's notebook and I wanted to set it up so that when I'm out and I'm doing curbside I could sit and write my prayers down you know because a lot of times you sit and wait sometimes you wait like 45 minutes sometimes you wait two minutes it just depends and then um and then I can have it beside, I can have it in my purse, then I can pull it out by my chair and I can, you know, when I'm in the wee hours of the morning when I can't sleep, I can write my prayers. Um, I can get up and write my prayers if I go sit by my chair. But I just wanted to share with you a little bit about it. So it's a typical TN. It is, and I'm going to have to be careful here because I have some pictures in here. So right back here, this little, right, this little doodad right here there's two of them and these are just for pictures so I have one set up or I have them set up with my children's pictures but I also try not you know because I promised them privacy so <laughs> I try to be respectful of that so I've got hold on one second let me just close that over okay so those are some of my notes I also have these pockets they hold credit cards they hold whatever you want these um, size notes are two by two and I'm going to, I don't like this color, so I usually use this in like cookbooks and stuff when I'm working on stuff. So that's going to go to that. But I'm probably going to put either pink or green in here because I love those colors. And then the rest I'll save for something else. But um, these are just inexpensive ones I got off of Walmart.com or Walmart curbside and delivery. So I love this and I'm probably going to use some of these, um, probably the yellow, I mean the yellow and the orange. I may use these in um, our summer spring summer Bible journaling camp so that's coming up at the beginning of August so and just really quick before I forget to say it we only have a few slots left if you would like to be a part of it be sure you send me an email to josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com and um, it is free it is it is a free gift so um, anyways and there'll be some beautiful things sent to you and then we'll work on it together so all right so back to this so you can slip these in they work perfectly and that's why I have that size and then you can put anything larger here so all right let me scoot this back um, I do have kind of a pocket here that if you can see it it's a little bit larger pocket so I could put a bigger picture or I could put 
you know, coupons. I could put whatever I want in here. And so that's kind of a neat pocket too. And I mean, seriously, I ordered these before and this had not even been put in yet. It was still in the wrapper. And I think it was tied to this. So, um, you know, and I've got more pictures I can put in here, anything else, you know, just lots of different pockets and a zipper pouch that I have, stickers that came um, from Chic Sparrow, things like that. So now I have, if you can see here, I have, hold on, I have one with these in between. So I have one, oh, I'm sorry, I have one notebook. I'm totally wrong here. I have a little folder pocket that I will decorate. I have my two little, one's a zipper pouch, one's just a, like, credit cards, whatever else you want to put in there. Um, and then the other part of the pocket. So, there's that portion of it. And again, I have the one little notebook here. Then I have a second notebook here, and then I have a third notebook. So, when I first got these, I had a plan. I've changed that plan. So, <laughs> I do have this little notepad in here just because it fits. It fits. And I think that's it. Yeah. Then I have a pen from our travel in Maine this last fall that I love. And then this is just a Bic mechanical pencil. No big deal. Nothing, nothing major. So what I wanted to do with this now, I am going to move that back. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to shimmy my dance here. So, cause I've got my notes there and I want to be able to see them. So I'm just going to cover that like that just for you know respect to my children so initially I wanted to carry this around for the personal and family for notes and then work the estate and the partnership and then in the tax practice and oh and then then the estate okay the estate the tax practice and the partnership and then personal and family so this was initially set up to go and be a, um, I'm going to take these out real quick, um, set up for notes, for working, and all that kind of stuff. But now I'm going to turn this into a prayer notebook. Do you need anything like this to have a prayer notebook? Absolutely not. I'm going to come back with a second um, tool I just pr purchased off online. Um, my sweet daughter's got to set up my printer. I've got a new printer and um or i've had it for a while i just haven't set it up and new to me and um yeah so anyways but i will come back with that prayer notebook as well because i want to share that one as well and so here's what i plan to do so i'm just going to take these in the same order so i have personal and family that works here but it doesn't work on the other one so i decided that i had all these labels so i have this kind of a label i have that kind of a label and I have plain white labels. I also have craft, but I didn't want anything that big. So, in theory, these don't fit. They would have to go like that. So, they're not quite, you know, wide enough. I do believe that these will work. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to white out what I've written. And I'm going to bust into these labels. So, I am labeling everything right now. I'm a labeling fool. Um, <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I was literally at 2 in the morning labeling um, different canning things and oh my goodness. And then this morning I woke up and I was labeling. I was going through all of my, um, oh, what do you call it, my fermentations that, you know, had hit the point where I needed to cap them and put them in the fridge. And um, anyways, and I've still got yogurt and kefir going and kombucha and salsa and I ferment, a lacto-fermented today um, some... Um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, blueberries. So anyways, so I've just got them going all the time. So I was trying to think, you know, are there any of them that I wouldn't like? That That's almost a fit, but not quite. So I think what I'm going to do is, um, I don't want to use that, and I probably will use these two. That's just the way my brain thought, and I can do that. I can be picky, right? I can, I could use these this way. Now, I could on the third one use that one and I might but let's just go ahead and get started on these I am not sure yet for the third book what I'm gonna do and then you just tuck them in there and you can still use them okay so I am going to put that there and I can read through it so I am gonna wipe that out that's I said I was and then 
I was thinking, well, does it really show? <laughs> yes, it does. And even though this whiteout is white and this page is, you know, not white, it's cream, the idea is, and I'm not being perfect at this, I'm just getting it done. I think that was kind of gooey. I've never had that happen. And this is just a Tombow Mono Whiteout that I love these. These are, they're like butter. And I, I ordered these like back in maybe April. And I have not reordered. And I have them on a subscription on Amazon. And I decided to, that this next month I'm going to let them go through. It's time because you can tell they're getting kind of old. So all I'm going to do is set up my first one. And I think... I think I'm just going to go, I think I'm going to go green. I know, it doesn't matter, but, you know, <laughs> it's just my brain. So, this is a dot grid, if you can see that. So, I'm, and, and these were literally bought off of Amazon. Yeah, I mean, this, these, I'm 100% sure I bought these off of Amazon. Um, so, it's not a big deal, you know. All right, so now I'm going to label this and I want to make sure that this is a good pin because I've been stuck with some bad pins lately <laughs> okay it's a good pin all right so now I'm gonna label this one personal so this I'm going to put things in it like um, my relationship with God and my family er, and, and and me as a wife. These are the things I want to focus on in here. Um, my relationship as a mother and a grandmother. Um, so I kind of didn't space that right, but. Okay, and then my personal ministries. Because we all have personal ministries, whether we understand that at all at all or not and and I'm trying to write and say this at the same time I'm talking about things like there are people that um, you call and check on um, I literally made a call today to an elderly couple to make sure they're okay and I haven't talked to them for months you know literally months and it's through business it's not even a personal relationship but it is a part of who I am and I literally got an email not before last, and somebody asked where something was, and why hadn't I done it? And it was kind of a crazy thing because it was a check that was sent to us, and it was for the practice. And I, because I don't, I wasn't rushing to cash anyone's checks because I know everybody's hurting financially, and though we're hurting <laughs> in our own way, um, you know, and my husband came in and he said, hey, have you seen this email by? And I was like, no. And he goes, you need to answer them. And I, I said, okay. And then he wanted me to answer it a certain way, which was fine. Um, but I, I was very shocked at the abruptness of, can you tell me why? You know, and it was like, well, you should look at it and say, thank you, because I'm allowing you to use your money a little bit longer. And um, I just, I have felt God say, you know, slow down. And, and I'm getting ready to go run a whole bunch of checks through here in a minute. And, but it, it's just one of those things where, you know, you may not see that as a ministry. I do. I do. Because my goal in life is to encourage others. And I just feel like everybody was so exhausted and worn out from all this. And there were so many that were sick or their businesses were hurting or, you know, I mean, I, I put a phone call out to um, one of our people and I know that right now I need to be very careful to not just rush, you know. And I mean, there's, I mean, there's people that owe money right now, and I just, you know, Lord willing, I can give them time, and they just have to communicate back with us. So, but that's one of the things that I was trying to take care of in light of, and I saw somebody get really upset about it, and I just thought, and therefore, then my husband was a little bit upset when he came in and was fussing, and, and I was just like, and I found myself just shaking, thinking, I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Afterwards, I was like, you didn't do anything wrong. Why are you so upset? And I think it was because I was very rattled by the response um, by the person who emailed, and then my husband, you know, and, um, 
you know, my house is topsy-turvy. What used to be in perfectly appointed places, you know, five years ago, that doesn't exist anymore. So, and I keep organizing and reorganizing and organizing and reorganizing. And so, anyways, and he made me respond with an answer that made me sound very irresponsible. And I did not like that because I knew exactly what I was doing. But, you know, I mean, he had his reason for what he wanted done. And, uh, you know, and I didn't think it was worth you know, bantering words. But as we go through that, that is a ministry for me to be able to help people um, as much as I can, you know, in this time. And there have been several um, in this, well, there's been many. And so I've tried not to, um, quote, run to the bank as soon as we get a check in our hand. Um, I always like to give them a little bit of time, make sure everything's okay. Are you okay if I, if I run this through kind of thing? And to have somebody respond that way, I was very shocked. And, you know, that's a ministry. If, if you don't, when you're doing something to show the love of Christ, to give them um, time to make sure that they're okay, um, I believe that's a ministry. And I do it because I love Jesus and I want to encourage others. And that was one of the things I was doing. So when I talk about those personal ministries and projects, so another project is I'm... Just and this is in the work world. I've, we've got a, a, you know, person that is purchasing a property from us, and I would like to offer them a deal. And I've gone to the partners and said I would like to offer a deal. So we can get a buyout here, and then we can close the partnership. Which two of the partners are like, close it, close it, close it. <laughs> you know, no more after this year. And I'm like, I totally understand. I'm um, keeping up, keeping me working for one, com one, you know. Uh, client is not a good idea. It's a waste of my time. And that's what one of the partners said is that, you know, we know you're wasting your time. We don't want you to waste your time anymore. But that's a project. And that goes under my personal prayer. You know, it will. So hold on one second. Let me get a sip of coffee. Oh, it's nice and cold. <laughs> I'm not a cold coffee person. <laughs> so in this one, I want to set this up for my family and friends and um, and this is more the people outside of my home if that makes any sense so I've got a girlfriend and she called a couple days ago and somehow I missed her call and anyways and we we pray for each other so this is one of those opportunities or if I see something for my children or son sent us a uh, text today and I said we will be praying for that and so this is where I'd like to list it and the reason why and you're gonna go but it's on the text you don't need to list it well, um, the reason why, hold on, i got to read my, okay, I can't read my own handwriting, isn't that terrible? <laughs> now you know why I never wanted to teach first grade. The reason why is that I can date it when I prayed, and I can date it when God answers, no matter how he answers. So I think this is always, I love in times like this when everything is just, to me right now, I feel like everything's at a fevered pitch. People are I mean, just even conversations. People get really loud in their conversations. They're, they're, and it's not happy loud. <laughs> Let me just say that. And I just, and I don't think they know that they're doing it, but it is really, um, I mean, it makes my body just tense up. And so, you know, I'd, I'd like to write down, you know, some of these things that I can be praying specifically when these people are very upset or they're happy or, well, happy, I wish it were more, but you know what I mean. So I think this is the opportunity to pray, pray for family and friends. So, um, and this is also where I would pray for my church family. And then ministries I'm a part of that, you know, that I either support or um, um, help with. So I think that is a really great place to be. Now, okay, let me see. Is this my last one? Yes. All right, so this one, um, I really need four. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but I will, I will keep going like this and I will share with you what I'm thinking. Um, I may order one more. Um, so this one I would like, um, I'd originally set it up for the estate, not going to use it for the estate because we're almost done. Um, but... I would like for this to be, um, hold on, let me grab a sticker, 
you know, maybe I should do that funky pink. It's kind of fuchsia. I don't know. Not a yellow girl. <laughs> I can say yellow. <laughs> My husband used to hate that. <laughs> we first got together and it was like, I'm from Texas. That's how we say it. You know, and I think he was expecting me to say something like yeller, you know, like old yeller. <laughs> but I just say yeller. I say potato. I say tomato. I say, you know, uh, I say pajamas. <laughs> you know, it's just like, or jammies. Um, it's just how I was raised. We all have those things. But anyways, so, um, but I think I really, I mean, I'm, I think what I want to do here. Is I want to set this up for um, city, state, national, and or city, state, national, U.S. and the world. So I'm just going to set it up just like this: city, and then um, Texas because that's my state, and then my nation is the USA, and then world which is everybody else and I want to pray specifically so an example for this in my city is and I when I think of city I think of our county as well I mean you know that's our local um, the first thing I want to pray for and I'm going to list right here is um, COVID spreading and that is going to be my prayer. And I will list number one, COVID spreading. I'm going to put the date, which is 720. And then I'm going to put leave a spot here for an answer. And um, and I can just put like 1A or I can draw a line. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it that specific. I mean, or that not specific. Because if anybody were to pick this up, I mean, I might even change the names to protect the innocent, because if anybody were to pick it up or I were to misplace it, I would never want anybody hurt. Now, the last thing that I was thinking I might add to this, and I think I'm just going to put on my personal, I think I'm just going to put work. Um, I was really deliberating, should I add a fourth book? But, um, and work, estate, that's what it, that's what it means, is my estate work, my partnership work, and our tax practice. So, um which that's changing now so let's put this um here i want to show you what i also got this is off of amazon and you know me i'm cheap so <laughs> these are just flags that i can use in any way i would choose but i also i think these were like 500 800 tabs i looked at avery and i just thought i'm too cheap <laughs> i know this of myself i'm just too cheap so I think I'm going to go with these, and that's, you know, I even have solids, but, ooh, hold on one second, guys. Ooh, time for me to make dinner. But um, this is just where I'm at, so I was trying to pick up anything I had to of, <clears throat> and I will set up tabs as I need them. So on this one, I'll probably use green. On this one, I'll probably use blue. And on this one, I will probably use maybe either probably that color right there so um that's it i mean and i'm going to put my tabs in and and just set up like city you know texas u.s and world and that's how i'm going to set those up i am at a point and i'll show you exactly how i'm going to do this i'm at a point now where you know I have so many different things I do in a day. Somebody asked me the other day, how in the world do you get everything done? And I don't really have an answer for that. I don't. Um, some days I do a pretty good job. Some days, eh, not so much. You know, I am going to just put this right here. I really like top tabs, and that's what I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to do X amount. For, so this is basically, you can see it's divided in half. So that'll be the, you know, the third section, and there's only four sections needed. So I think I'm going to just cut this one just roughly in half, you know, best I can see it. And I'm going to put this one in, and then I will do the same thing for the next two. And, but somebody was asking me, how are you getting all these things done? And how do you keep all this straight? No, no, no. And I mean, I've been asked that before. And sometimes, okay, good. And sometimes not so good. 
you know, I'm going to be honest. It's a busy, busy time for all of us. And I think right now, I want to see how far down I went. I think right now for me, um, it's time to get things reset up. So um, I want to work on some serious budgeting this, this next fall. Um, and yes, we can start it right now. But I think right now I just have um, so many things that I'm trying to do and trying to do semi-well <laughs> that, okay, in the world I think I'm going to go pretty big on. Um, and then, of course, you know, with all my sticky notes, I can add in there, you know, just like you do in a journal when you are in your Bible journaling, when you add on. That's just what I can do. So, um, but, I mean, there's some things. I, I have some financial goals for us, um, you know. And so let me show you if I put this one back in. Let me see. Do I have all that covered up? And I do. I can just put this all back in here. I can label the tops or I don't have to. And I probably will go back and label them. And I'll probably lower those a little bit. That's what I wanted to see. So, I mean, I have things that I would like to get done personally. Um, you know, and I, I mean, I have some Bible studies that I want to make sure that I get done pretty quickly. Um, no matter what you believe right now, we have an opportunity as Christians, you know, if we're still home, that we can work through certain things. And we just need to be prepared. We need to be prepared to share the gospel at all times. And, you know, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm just, oh, I am totally all the time prepared. I mean, we all should have a level of preparedness. But I think it's time for me to get some tools in place in my heart, in my mind, that I would like to have, um, make sure, make sure I know the Roman road, make sure, you know, which is just a series of Bible verses that would encourage somebody else in their coming to know Jesus as Savior. So that's all done. So see, all I have to do now is close it. Of course, I won't have that in it. And they're still within. Isn't that neat? I really like it. Okay, so nothing major, nothing, you know, I'm not going to make you sit through all the rest. But it's just an opportunity to get myself a little bit more organized in my prayer life. And guys, if you aren't keeping a record of your prayer requests and God's answers, even if you write it in your planner, it's important. It really, really is. Because as God works in our lives, and I'm going to do the rest of these off cam camera. I just wanted to show you what I was going to do. Um... And I may come back and decorate these. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. And if I do, I'll take them out, maybe cover them with paper. I'm not sure. But I'll be, I'll be glad to come back and show you at some point if you guys would like that. Um, I just want to make sure that whatever I'm doing, that number one, it's pleasing to the Lord. And number two, that I'm ready for whatever he's calling me to be ready for. And there are a lot of people right now that are very um, lost um, some may have never ever heard the gospel. Um, they may have had a bad experience in the church. I have a, a dear sweet friend that many of you guys are praying for that has cancer and was told it was terminal. And um, please keep her in your prayers. I told her that I was telling you guys to pray for her, but not by name. <laughs> Keeping her anonymity. And um, please, you know, there are people right now that... Um, have been in the church and have literally um, been through a difficult experience and she's one of them and she has every right to make the decisions that she has made because number one God did not make us robots he made us with the ability to make decisions and that's a blessing always um, since I don't like these colors <laughs> as much. <laughs> this is going to be my back on this because this is sticky. So all I do is take these and I, this makes my, this is kind of like my back cover on this. <clears throat> and when I put those together, they work perfectly straight, but I'll straighten that up later off camera. <laughs> and then, um, so I'll have those there and, and I might just use these for, you know, 
you know, specific things. Like I might put in here, like I may need more space to write on a page or more answers or whatever it is.